We are about to experience what a Vietnamese night bus looks like. It's for nine hours, it costs $50. <laughs> Let's just say I've taken this bus five years ago when I was in Vietnam. The two guys I'm with are big blokes. They're in for a rough night. Let's find out how they're feeling. Yes. You're excited for the night bus, mate? I'm extremely excited. I love traveling by night. <laughs> yeah, okay, not the quite. Especially in such luxurious accommodations that I'm sure we'll have. $50, mate. It's going to be lovely. Don't you worry. Oh, look at that. Wow. How many hours? Uh, uh, eight hours. Oh, okay. Okay, eight Wait. hours. Now you've seen the bus, mate. Are you excited? Shitting yourself. <laughs> it's built for a Vietnamese, not a six foot. How tall are you? Six foot three? How tall are you? Six one. Six one, six two, six three. Who's six two here? I don't know, you? Who's six three? Are you 6'2 or 6'3? What are you? You're trying to claim your bus. Get out of here. He's 5'11. He's 5'11. He's 5'11, but I'm Tinder is 6'1. For my female subscribers, I'm 6'1, alright? Wow, they're full on dissembling the bike, ready to be transported through here. So, this is Bowles' bike. Tim's is over there, mine's at the end. Wow, how does this work? <laughs> Last but not least, my bike. So they full on dissemble it. Take off the wing mirrors, the wheels, and then they'll shove it next to Tim's and Bowles in the middle there. I'm just hoping when we arrive at three o'clock in the morning, they put it back together, because I won't have a bloody clue how to do this. I'm hoping they don't just drop you off in the middle of the city at 3 a.m. and go, yep, off you go, lads. But we'll find out, I guess, later. Wow, so this is how <laughs> Look at this, this is how they transport stuff around Vietnam. Go on, mate. I feel a bit guilty to study and not doing anything, but what can I do? These guys are pros. Doing it for years. Big push. Yeah, I just said that. Here we go. He's got it. <laughs> Go on, mate! Yes! Ah. Let's do this. Shoes off, is it? Oh, smelliest converse in the world, these. Stinking. Ooh! Luxury. Is that your one, is it? How the hell do I get down here? Squeeze it. Oh man, look at this. These are a bit different to what they looked like five years ago. Hello, mate. <laughs> this is my one? Yeah. What about shoes? Uh, no, no shoes, mate. Uh, How dare you? Uh, yeah, yes. Oh. Okay, right, thank you. Wait, sorry. <laughs> ah. <laughs> thank you, mate. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Well, looking good, mate. I mean, is this like an SMS done? Why are my legs up? Is this a comma I'm actually built as a six foot one person. Yeah, for sure. This is perfect for me. I fit just about in. There we go. Look at that. Look at that leg room. Tim going to do this? Yeah, Tim's a big guy. Tim's in trouble, mate. Where did you put your shoes? I gave them to him. I don't know what he did. It's Tim. Welcome. Yo, hi. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, man. thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Okay. What the hell are we doing here? Now you've noticed the leg extender, it's better, isn't it? <laughs> when I took this train, this bus five years ago, there was no leg room, but now they've obviously changed it because the amount of foreigners used to complain. Let me show you the. Uh, let me show you the leg room. Look at that. That's all right, isn't it? Five years ago, you'd have your feet here, but now they've extended it. I'm guessing because all the foreigners were kicking off. Because Vietnamese are small, it's built for a Vietnamese person, but this is all right. Eight hours. Just realised I've left my bloody bag in the cafe out here. Oh my God, everything's in here as well, my passport. Jesus Christ. My bag! Got everything in this! Bloody hell! What an idiot! 
Oh man. I got it. Can you imagine if the bus drove away without, without my bag? Are you kidding me? Laptop, passport, everything's in this. Are you kidding me? You got on the bus without your bag? Yeah, I did. You're I was too excited, mate. You're a travel vlogger. <laughs> That's not too obvious. Ben makes a living trying to pretend he's a traveller. He's called Backpack Event. And he got on the bus. And just for about to set off, he suddenly said, oh, where's my bag? And he left it outside in the cafe. Out there. With his passport, laptop, money, Can't everything. Dance. Everything was in that bag. This is what I'm dealing with here. I'm traveling with an amateur, which is why I've been elected oh, protector. In front of you, I've got my bike helmet, and then you've got here an iPhone charger. I don't know what that does. And a light, look at that. There's a TV here, no idea how you turn this on, even if it is a TV. And what's that, another charger? Bloody hell, this bus is brilliant. I've been I've been joined by an American here. Are you American? <laughs> no, you can't get on. Can't get up. Just a you can do it, mate. Come on. There's you go. Americans. <laughs> Is this your first time on a Vietnamese bus? Uh, no, I've been on several. Been, How do you like it? What do you think? Yeah. Uh, they're not made. Where are you going? Hoi An. Yeah. Not made for people. Yeah. They're made for Vietnamese, right? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, well, there you go. Two Americans are now on this bus. You got Tim yep. and this man here. In England, thirty pound gets you the shitty mega bus, the worst bus on earth. Thirty pound here gets you a bed, gets you a light, gets you a TV, gets you everything here. I mean, can't complain, can you? I'm gonna stop vlogging now because everyone's looking at me like this guy's a wanker. Well, <laughs> this is the cringiest thing I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let everyone sleep now, ruining their experience with my vlogging. I'm gonna close my curtain here. Bowl's gonna close his curtain. Right. See you in eight hours, oh. mate. Enjoy your Zanax. Yeah. Tim, good night, mate. See you tomorrow. Right. Oh, where? Yeah. Two way. Right. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Oh, there's more people getting on. Yeah. That was a good night from me. It's See good. you in eight hours. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, these guys have built the bikes, absolute legends, poor buggers, Jesus. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the hotel, it's like a five minute drive that way. Oh, God. Good morning from Dong Hoi. It's 8 a.m. here in Dong Hoi. I've just woke up. Obviously, we got here late last night. I quickly whizzed my hotel room, which is a minute away, had a couple hours sleep, and now I can show you my £10 hotel room here in Dong Hoi. This is what I get to. Basic bathroom, my soaking wet clothes hung up here on the journey. A basic bed, and then a fake brick wall made of plastic. A sponge. Strange. <sighs> Let's go speak to Mr. Bold and see what £10 gets him here in Dong Hoi. You know what, mate? You've had some sleep. Wait, wait a minute. How much are you paying for this? Ten. Why have you got a balcony? Why have you got a massive... Why have you got a huge bathroom, a huge bed? Hold on a minute. This is Mr. Bowles bedroom view, a balcony overlooking the river here. Look at this. Not bad for ten quid. Right, so here's the plan. We're hoping it's not going to rain, but we're now going to begin the Ho Chi Minh Trail and head to the Laos border. So it takes about five hours to get there. Let's pray to God it doesn't rain. And yeah, welcome to Dong Hoi. <laughs> 